was a happy homecoming for thousands of sailors and troops aboard the USS Carl Vinson, who came back home to San Diego today. Yeah, the nuclear powered supercarrier spent eight months away, stationed in the Indo Pacific region. Its return comes after video leaked last week showing a fiery F 35 jet crashing on the deck. Several sailors were hurt in that incident. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal joins us live with what the Admiral had to say about that incident and about all the beautiful and uh, emotional reunions. Kelly? Yeah, Carlo and Heather, there were lots of tears and hugs today. Uh, there were newly married couples that were reunited. Uh, there were also a lot of new moms and dads who got to meet their babies for the first time. Take a look. So what do you think, Dad? Oh, it's amazing. You know, she was born uh, back in September, so that's right when we started. So finally get to hold her is uh, just amazing. Kind of emotional? Yeah, definitely. We can't really explain the feeling, but just cry. Try not to cry. <laughs> So it was very sweet. Uh, that was little four month old Mia Grace meeting her dad for the first time. Her mom has been extremely busy the past eight months while dad was deployed because the couple has five kids. We also met identical twin sailors reuniting with their mom. Mom Danielle Cobus was very emotional and just so grateful to have them home safe and sound. Now as for the crash involving the F 35 fighter jet, uh, one of the commanding officers did answer a few questions about it. It happened January 24th in the South China Sea. Video of the crash uh, went viral. Rear Admiral Daniel Martin described the incident as, quote, a mishap on board the flight deck. He says they know who leaked the video and those sailors have already been disciplined. He said there was trust there that they were told not to share the video and there were, quote, a few folks who didn't listen to those orders. Here's what else he said. An aircraft carrier is the most dangerous two acres on the face of the earth. That, that accidents happen just like in normal life. Um, but we were so ready for it because we train all the time. And he said the uh, in investigation that is in into that crash is ongoing. Uh, as for that F-35 fighter jet, uh, that $94 million aircraft, it is in the bottom of the ocean. But he said there is currently a salvage operation underway. Carlo and Heather. And Kelly, do we have an update on the sailors who were injured in that crash? There were several of them. Yes, we do know that uh, seven service members were injured in this crash, uh, including the pilot. A total of three of them were critically injured. <laughs> we're told they were airlifted uh, to the Philippines where they received treatment and then airlifted back to San Diego, where we're told uh, that the recovery is going well. All right, our Kelly Hesedal reporting live from the USS Carl Vinson. And welcome home to those sailors and Marines who are on board. Yeah, and we wish those injured that were transported here get well in San Diego. Absolutely. Wishing them the best on a fast and full recovery.